Hello and welcome to 3 Auto TV. This is Manoj Dara. So cryptocurrency markets were trading higher and Bitcoin price rally today can be attributed to the fall in the dollar strength. The US dollar fell by 0.3% and the crypto market responded with a rally. That's what the analysts are saying. The US dollar index which measures the US dollar against a basket of currencies was currently at 112.85 points. Also, value buying was seen in Bitcoin and Ethereum near the key support levels. However, the Fed fear kept Bitcoin below $20,000. So, recently cryptocurrencies have faced a major sell-off as the Fed maintains its aggressive stance to curb inflation levels. The recent inflation data has also highlighted how the central bank's interest rate hikes are not bringing inflation to the target levels. IC15 index of cryptocurrency was trading up by 1.4% at 27,860 points. So, there were no major events to change investors' sentiment following Fridays and Saturdays' bearish session. So, on Sunday, if you talk, the Bitcoin rose by 1.03%, reversing a 0.60% decline from Saturday. Bitcoin ended the week down by 0.9% at around $19,267. Notably, that Bitcoin fell short of $20,000 for the ninth consecutive session while avoiding the return to sub $19,000. So it was trading in a range after the after a big uh, disappointing CPI numbers. Uh, as of now, Bitcoin was trading at $19,365, up 1.1%. However, the impact of the macroeconomical factors on crypto and Bitcoin is increasing as the US inflation gets stronger. Both the crypto and the traditional markets are facing a, a, a raging storm and market participants fear that the possible global recessions will be soon, which is actually near and, and soon will break out. Ethereum showed a surprising rise in amount of supply, reaching six months high of 17 million Ethereums. The Ethereum, the second largest crypto, was up by 2.7% at $1,320. If you talk about the overall global cryptocurrency market, which was trading flat at $925 billion, marginally higher in the last 24 hours, However, the total trading volume jumped by more than 16%, which was at $76.2 billion. The stock futures traded higher earlier on Monday as investors awaited a big earnings report to roll out in the US. Futures on the Dow Jones Industrial Average gained triple one points or 0.4%, S&P 500 and Nasdaq 100 inched 0.4% and 0.33% higher. So, the S&P 500 just came off its fourth negative week in the five in last. Actually, it lost somewhere around 1.7% in the last week. The hotter than expected inflation reading stroke widespread swings in the markets as investors readjusted their expectations for the Federal Reserve's coming rate hikes. Market will still eye the Fed's next interest rate decision. The next FOMC meeting is on 2nd of November and will dictate the long-term price movement for the cryptocurrency market. On my left, Binance BNB was trading up by 0.6% at $272. Polygon Matic was up by 2.65% to trade at $0.81. Solana Sol was up by 2% at trading at $30. Stratanos ADA token was next on the list, was up by 0.4% at $0.36. Doge the popular meme coin was trading up by 0.7% at $0.059. Avalanche AVEX was higher by 2.2% at $16. Shiba Inu was trading up by 0.8%. Ripple's XRP token was trading at $0.47, up by 2.8%. So, Ripple's lawsuit battle started to grow stronger as XRP price managed to break the 30 cents level. The token even managed to grow by 70% when news about the SEC law was, was heading positively. A few days after the hype XRP price dropped, again and losing more than 10% in the past 7 days. So, next on the list was Polkadot, was trading up by 0.6% at $6. Alright, that's all there is in today's Coin Monitor. This is Manoj Dara signing off. But keep watching 3.0 TV for more such interesting updates. Thank you.